Ryan Garbutt, who formerly played in the Central League, hooking at 552. Barron's on the power play, tied for 12 at 18.5%. Off the draw, the puck goes to the far boards with no score, kept in. Left point by Green, feeds it to the near side. Keller locks up with Labrie, Keller gets it. And now it'll be picked up, though, by Labrie and swept all the way up ice. Tulipoff and Yo back. As Lenebu out of his net to play it, he's in front of the goal line where you can do that. Feeds it back of the goal to Yo, up the wing to Keller. Keller to the attacking end, rolls on him, the Barons go offside. Hit Cornet, roll to center, carried back in by Yo. Texas is penalty killing, tied for ninth at 83. Point one on the year. In the head-to-head -head matchups, Oklahoma City has four power play goals against Texas in the previous meeting in 19 chances. So here's the faceoff between Travis Morin and Green. Green wins it cleanly at center. Yo tips it to Tulipoff, and the Russian defenseman comes to the attack, rolls it to the corner. Green picks it up, lost it, and it'll be cleared by uh, Tomas Vinsour, who has scored a goal in seven straight road games. That stretch goes back all the way to his first stint with Texas back in late October. Vinsour just sent down, had a very long stint with Dallas, but brought the point streak, or the goal streak on the road back with him. Then the center, a pass hit by Keller. It put the Stars in offside, and now Green will shoot it up ice. Out there with Cornet and Keller. And the Barons guilty of an icing. Green did not gain the red line. Texas this year is the only club in the West Division, and there's four other clubs other than Texas in the West, that is not over 500 on the road. They're 10, 12, 0, and 1 on the road. Every other West club has excelled, you might say, in road games, especially the Barons, Abbotsford, and Houston. The Barons with a record here at home of 11, 6, 2, and 2. Barons win the draw, shot by Tulipoff around the boards, kept in by Brendan Dillon. Fired back of the goal. Tulipop broke it up. We're scoreless here in the first. And it's a fed ahead by Green. Intercepted, though, by Dillon at the point. Shoots! And it went up over the net. He had to cradle that rolling puck at the blue line and did. Now a bump. Glennie on Cornet. Glennie got the puck. Centered it right to Green. Here come the Baron. Ahead to Cornet. Keller on his left. Cornet across the line. Drops it. Tulipop open. Shooting! Blood by Ray Kroc. And he holds on. We get to our second break of the period. We'll take a timeout. Keller to Cornet, bank pass, goes instead to the Stars Fortunas. Now they quickly feed it to center. Garbutt to Watier, across the line. Tulipoff back. Watier got partially around him and then put the puck on his shot wide of the net. Barons eventually get the rebound. Chorney comes to center. Esposito picks it up. And he gives it ahead here to Connolly. And he comes speeding into the Barons' D zone far corner. Centers it right across the front. Dillon will shoot. Blocked out near the perimeter by Hunter Trombley as we get to the final 60 seconds. Trombley steams to the attacking end, backhands one toward the front. Fortuna skates it away with his skate blade. And then Dylan with a broken stick kicks the puck to center. At the second twig, he's broken tonight. Pass ahead, Tulipoff to Pyarvi. Just across the line. Down the far wall to Trombley. Back to Pyarvi. Shoots, saved by Raycroft. A handy stick save. He tips the rebound to the corner. Arcabello fired it toward the front. And a skate stop made by Connolly, and he comes to center. Dumps it in from in front of the benches. 25 seconds in the period. Tulipoff down again. It's given a good ride there by Watier. Now it comes to Arcabello. All the way out to the Barons near point. Tubert to Arcabello. He shoots. Save made by Raycroft. He seems unconcerned about rebound control. He makes that save, though, and Ben clears it around the boards. Not out. Tulipoff shoots. Just missed the net on a nice level shot. Tubert keeps it in to Hartikainen in the corner. We play here in the second period. Back out high it goes. Tuber, Tarcabella, one-timer, save made. Reba Hardikainen diving for a play. And a good defensive play by Dillon to break it up. As Hardikainen. Hardikainen died for the rebound at the far side of the goal as we look at it. Texas shoots it back of the Barons' net. The Barons' goalie, Lenevue, plays it around the boards. Pyarvi sweeps in to get it by Fraser. Pyarvi comes to the attacking zone. On Labrie, cuts in front, swept away from in front by... Defenseman Maxim Fortunas. By RV, wheeled it to the corner, taken away by Fraser. We approach the halfway mark. Fraser's pass down the board, gathered in by Connolly. He centers it. Nobody home. Head no go for it. Tip it to the far faceoff circle. Barons end. Tulipoff gets it. Ahead to Turvinen. He got bumped. Played it to the point. Shot on goal. Save made as it came to Labrie, and he put it on net. Lenevue made the save. Pretty good gap there between his gloves and the bottom of his sleeve where you can see his uh, forearm tape. padding. Yeah, they, they tape them sometimes that way to keep them out, especially if you've got short arms. 
<laughs> one by the Barons. Jordy plays around. Larson will shoot. It trickles around. Glenevue pokes at it. Players crash the front. Connolly tips it to the corner. An infrequent Luke Gazdick shift now out there with Goddard and Connolly, and the puck flips over the near boards and out of play. Uh, at that last time out, uh, they introduced uh, Helmer's Heroes. And, uh, oh, yeah. A great uh, program. Uh, uh, the captain who isn't dressed tonight, Brian Helmer, has a uh, club called uh, Helmer's Heroes, and uh, they invite uh, the families and uh, special needs uh, uh, children, kids that uh, love to uh, watch a hockey game. And uh, a few weeks ago, they had uh, a friend of mine, uh, Austin, and uh, he uh, was Helmer's hero for the night. So. A real nice uh, idea, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, Captain uh, Brian Helmer for uh, doing this. Uh, he pays for the tickets and uh, brings uh, everything, you know, uh, everything to life. Thanks for that, Jim. No problem. <laughs> Barron's had the puck, almost handed it to Luke Gazdick. Gazdick shot one, but you might have heard the uh, two to the whistle as Tulipov got in to deflect Gazdick's shot up into the protective netting. So. Chorney fire the puck off the corner board. Connolly picks it up, back down by Hamilton. Pass ahead to center to Watsi, a big collision at center with Kirill Tulipov. And it rolls harmlessly wide of the Barons network. Chorney will pick it up. 1-0 Oklahoma City. Chorney just escaped a Gazdick hit as he threaded it over to Vandevelli, his former college teammate. Penalty coming up. Well, he just lost his balance and got back on his heels a little bit. Uh, I'd imagine they'll, oh, the trainer's going to check his skates. He might have lost an edge on that play. Stars win the draw. Jordy Ben tried to give it to Conley, the centerman. Hardikainen stole it. Down the boards for House. Poked away from him. And now Glennie will feed it off of Esposito on up ice. In a race with Tulipov. Esposito poked off his stick by the lengthy Tulipov. That's a six-foot four and a lot of long reach out to the point. Ben near the blue line, skates to the far side, chased by Tanner House. It's left over there for Glennie, the first round pick, and his pass goes into traffic into Ben skates. House and Esposito and Tulipoff are there, and a 2 0 Barons lead here early in the third. Tulipoff will roll it around the board on the right wing side, chipped ahead by Hardikainen, played by Ryan O'Mara, all the way up ice. Down to get it is Ben. I uh, see a lot different attitude of the uh, Barons tonight in the third period. They're not back on their heels, they're on their toes, and uh, if they get the uh, next goal and get that three cushion lead, I think you'd see the tires of uh, the Texas Stars go absolutely flat, so uh, the next goal is a big one. Trombley got the puck off the face off to Chorney, back to Trombley, quick pass to Tulipoff. He tried to shoot it, it didn't get by Jordy Ben. Headman pass to Frazier, not a head, and over goes to Dillon, comes to the line, shot one blocked, and then backhanded wide by Frazier. Chorney got the initial block. Frazier got the puck and put it wide. Frazier passed one to the end boards, it missed Hedden. Connolly will go get it. Connolly in the far corner, checked by Tulipoff, knocked down, and Mark Arcabello gets it ahead to Hunter Trombley, and he rolls it up the boards. Barron's up 2-0, Dillon with a pass to Hedden across the line to Morin. Morin at the edge of the circle. Hedden had the puck bumped by Tulipov. Dillon across size feed, shot by Ben, tipped up to the corner. That being said, next goal is obviously very crucial. Texas gets it. It's a different field of the game as Cornet able to tip the pass to center. Picked up now by Frazier, given on the far side to Hedden, back to Frazier. He tried to roll in the front, and a sliding Tulipov blocked the pass. Arcabello throws a hit on Frazier on the far bars. It squirts loose. Morin with it. Morin right wing side, eludes Cornet. Morin shoots up over the net. And the rebound to the left point to Dan Spang. Cross high speed, Fortunas. Back to Spang. Pass goes back of the net. Chorney will get it. Chorney up the boards here for Arcabello, and he's able to roll it up ice. Face off to the right of Andrew Raycroft. Green on the draw with Garbutt. Texas comes away with the puck. And it'll be a flip by Ben all the way up ice. This will be an icing. If Chorney gets there ahead of the attacker, Glennie, Chorney didn't apparently get there. So play continues, and Tulipoff will slide it ahead to Keller. Out to center, Garbutt, a big cross-check on Cornet, and a terrible time for that penalty to Ryan Garbutt. And now on the far boards, Ben will play it, and the Barons will go on the power play. 438. 
Okay, I'm, uh, I'm not going to take the time to check you on that. Here's the face out between Green and Watier in a two to one Barons lead. It comes to the Barons in their own zone, and Chorney able to hoist one through center. Down again at Jordy Ben. Barons with a league high 28 wins. Here's a long pass ahead on the right wing side, and it goes to Moore, and he shoots save made by. Lenevue. Nice play by Glennie to set up Moore, and then a big save by Lenevue. Texas couldn't get a stick on the rebound. Moran handled it out high, and Green with a nice play to poke it up ice. In a row, Raycroft back in the net. Connolly wins the faceoff. Spang with a pass to flex to center. Gazdick with it. Four seconds left. He lost it. It comes to the Barons' line. Chorney with it in front of 5,606 tonight. The Barons take a 3-2 season series lead over Texas. They have 29 wins and 63 standing points. The top club in the AHL, a 3-1 to win tonight for Oklahoma City.